Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I feel like it's been a while since I've picked up this camera. So welcome. Um, if you can tell, I am back at my apartment. I came back yesterday. And um, I think this vlog is going to be more of me prepping for my upcoming vacation. And so I guess I just wanted to sit down for a little bit and have like a little chit chat and just get you guys updated on what I've been up to. So like I said, I came back yesterday. So since I'm trying to get myself together for this vacation, I wanted to get my nails done at the salon that I've already tried in Springfield. So I did go yesterday and I'll, I'll actually insert some clips in there. I did a mini, mini petty. And you guys, I was so disappointed. I mean, the pedicure was okay. I don't know. Sorry, I, I felt something on my lip. I feel like the pedicure was okay, even though it could have been better. But the manicure was a disaster. I think they had one less worker. So the few people they had there were in a rush. So I basically had a different person do my nails. And the manicure was an absolute mess. The application was so messy. It basically looked like I did my own, <laughs> my own nail polish. And FYI, I do the messiest applications. Like, it was so bad. I hated the color, but I don't blame them because I, I chose the color. I got like a... It was like a blue, more like a teal blue, but I did not like that at all. And I don't know, it just had so many faults. And I hate being the petty person who finds fault in everything, but I was like, I am paying for this, so I might as well speak up. Like, I rectified the person so many times, but at the end of the day, I was like, you know what, I'm done. I need to get out of here. I think I spent like two hours there and by the time I left I still wasn't satisfied so that was my experience <laughs> at the nail salon yesterday so after that I just drove back here and I got so so many stuff you guys like I can't even imagine I'm like how do I have these many stuff I had like three suitcases a big old box I had um I had African food stuff that I got from the African store. I brought a rug, a TV, you name it. Until now, I can't, I can't really wrap, wrap my head around the fact that I stopped so many stuff in my trunk and the car in general. Yeah. <laughs> and so you can only imagine the packing. Um, I really hate packing. I mean, unpacking in this case. But I actually did that yesterday. I didn't take any clips of that because I was just too tired and I could not be bothered. So by the time I was done, it was like midnight and I was just so tired. I just wanted to crawl into bed. But um, still on yesterday, since I didn't like my nails, I went to another nail salon here in Champagne. And I mean, it's it's better now, but... It's definitely better than um, what I had going on yesterday. But if I'm to go back to this nail salon, I'm definitely not doing French tips. So, yeah, there's that. But at least it looks decent for my vacation. So, praise the Lord. Yeah, so that's it for yesterday. And then fast forward to today. Um, I just washed my hair and um, I did a text lax actually. Um, I've been doing text slacks here and there or texturizer here and there just because I like the way that it loosens up my curls. I have like really tight curls and so, um, it gets difficult sometimes to just take care of it and so I like text slacks text lax in once in a while. I also have brief clips of that so i'll insert that as well this is the texturizer i, I want to use if i'm not mistaken i think i've tried this before but this is a two-in-one application kit so um this whole bottle is for two applications so now i gotta find a container to um 
kind of divide this out and i've also got the other stuff that it comes with the oil moisturizer to put around my nape and my ears i got the shampoo with this moisturizer and the actual activator so that's what i'm gonna do now by the way i looked at the instructions and it was really weird they were talking about leaving it on for like 26 minutes or they're about depending on how how coarse your hair is or basically your texture but in the past i've only left my texturizer on for like five minutes i'm not trying to get this permed so i'm kind of scared um i think i'm just going to stick to that time like five maybe eight minutes and we'll see i don't want to end up bald headed really let's get to this y'all so i can go to my hair appointment today i had a nail no, not a nail a hair appointment and of course you already see the end result i got a sew in with leave out in the middle part and i haven't done this style in such a long while so i'm like oh my god i kind of look different <laughs> it's so cute so yeah um i went to my hair appointment it was supposed to be at 12 30. i had to wait for the lady until 1 30 and Honestly, I did not leave that store until 4.30. <laughs> so it's been such a day, you guys. Um, and after that, I also ran some errands as well. I just got to TJ Maxx because I want to get a purse. I want a black purse. Um, I'm kind of torn between this. It's from Dune. And this one which is nine west let me show y'all what this one looks like i really like this one just that the hardware is silver and i'm more of a gold person so i don't know but i really like this one i was also contemplating on this one too but i just wish it were plain black without the designs i like the gold um, hardware on this though uh, i mean i like this one and it seems like they reduce the price to to 32 so i think i'm gonna end up getting this and it doesn't look too big either so let's get this one and now i am back in the house so um what i need to do now is pack of course i am always packing at the very last moment so um, i'm gonna do that now so before we start packing, I just wanted to do like a quick haul of some of my travel essentials and just all the stuff that I picked up for this um, for this trip since I do have my laundry going. Um, I don't really have dirty clothes per se, but I just wanted everything to be nice and fresh for when I pack them. So let's get started. I got this Coco Radiant. It's the Vaseline intensive care and this is a smaller bottle and i just figured that this would be good as a travel size even though it's 10 for an ounce so this would be in a checked bag of course and i'm forever trying new deodorants you guys um this is the dove advanced care and um, i'm trying to see what type of scent i think it's narsh beauty i tried this in store and i liked it and so that's it and I finally got my hands on this first aid beauty in grown hair pads. Um, I heard about this from Mena and it's it's just pads really that look like this that you can use to wipe your bikini area or your under um, underarms. <laughs> so this would keep me nice and fresh because I heard that my destination is really hot so I'm gonna need everything I can to stay fresh and um, I also picked up the Urban Decay all-nighter 
um, matte setting spray. This too would be good for when I do have makeup on. Even though I don't plan on having any heavy makeup on, just because I know it's gonna be um, it's gonna be hot, and so I won't bother myself. And so in line with that, I also grabbed some oil absorbing sheet from i think this was from walgreens i actually wanted to get the blotting powder from santa beauty but right now i can't be bothered with that um maybe some other time but hopefully this would this would do the trick it's supposed to reduce excess oil and that's what i need for you know um, when i'm out and about and i need to blot my face and i also bought a pack of this Glade Air Freshener to keep the room fresh um, and nice. I also finally got my hands on a mattifying primer and this is from Revolution. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't think I've ever tried a mattifying primer before. So this is my very first time. I of course like Revolution. I've tried their other products and I like them. So hopefully this should also do the trick because I usually just use um, a natural finish foundation. So I think having some of the other products in a matte format would also help me throughout the day. Um, next up, I got some shower caps. It's just a pack of 15 um it's the clear ones and i've already opened this because i had to use this while i showered and um after my hair appointment i actually stopped by forever 21 i'm always there for their accessories and so i got these sunglasses i i like the um square detail i don't have anything like this so i'm very excited for this one it looks so cute so cute so cute and then of course for usual i picked up some jewelry as well i'm a stud girl i like small earrings and anytime honestly i wear anything that's not stud it's usually just small hoops like this small one or something slightly bigger but i usually just stick to hoops and then this is um, a little necklace and also actually oh this is a matching necklace and um bracelet so yeah there's that and for the other items i also got a disposable sponge i think this was from marshall's or oh this is from ross um so this time around i'm not taking my my extra african sponge i figured i would just get this so that anytime I travel I can either take this or I could even dispose of it depending on how long I've used it and of course the almighty grab and go travel bottles these are always always a lifesaver and this one actually comes with the tags so that you can just um, put them on the bottle so you can figure out what's in each and they have two extra too so that's really great I actually got two of them don't remember where i got them because i've been buying stuff for a very long while um and then i have so many wipes honestly um i got flushable wipes hopefully i would use this this is fresh scent i don't know hmm i'm thinking that maybe i should have gotten a sensitive one but we'll see we'll see how that works also got the clorox disinfecting wipes and this also wet ones so i have three packs of wipes so it's good that i have something extra and also from tj maxx today i picked up um some luggage tags it says mrs i don't really care for what's on this but um it was cheaper than the other options and it also looks a tad bit more sturdy so i figured i would get this and the colors are pretty too it's pink and white so hopefully this works i think i mainly got it because i have a black suitcase and i figured that most people would have a black suitcase so i don't want to be out there for too long trying to figure out which one is my suitcase y'all 
yeah i'm almost done so my last um last item actually i do have a few more but i figured that those were like everyday essentials that i don't really need to show but um i think i briefly showed this in um in tj maxx while i was there i got this purse just because i don't have a dressy purse or a black dressy purse so i wanted to pick up one and this is um from the brand aldo i'm definitely going to take this off i don't yeah i don't like like that on it but it's so pretty and it was on sale for 32 dollars oh no my battery is blinking so i'm going to charge and then we'll go ahead and start packing so i have all of my outfits here besides the nightwear and i've just kind of paired them as an outfit so it's easier so these are basically ready to go um i also got well i didn't really buy this <laughs> my sister got these um they're from brassy bra but i figured that i would need them for one of my dresses here and so of course i did the beggy beggy thingy <laughs> thank you nina boo for these though yeah hopefully these would actually work but these are actually now ready to go in the bag the bag the luggage <laughs> 